What the hell's going on? Chris Ramsey here, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about something very important, something a lot of you have commented about and asked me to do, which is, Chris, can you make a video on how to deal with tough spectators? So, for those of you that are just tuning in right now, uh, when performing magic, a lot of people like to give magicians a hard time, and not only because they're assholes, but mainly just because they're skeptical. Well, today I'm gonna to give you five tips and actual tricks that you can perform to get rid of hecklers. Let's get into it. All right, so tip number one, and probably one of my favorite tips. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta wrangle this beard every now and then. I, I'm obviously due for another lineup. This thing's getting out of control. Back on subject. So this is probably by far one of my favorite of the five tips and tricks because it's so direct, it's so funny. You can do this to your friends, you can do it to many different people, but it's a very, very funny gag slash actual trick that works, that gets people on your side, or if you're a heckler, it'll probably even get them on your side or just make them go away forever. Gone. See you later. What you're going to do is you're going to force a card. So using a classic force is the best way to do this. If you're gonna use any other force, as soon as the method is just a little bit fishy, as a heckler, he's probably gonna call you out on that and say, well, can I shuffle the cards and no, no, no. And that brings me to another point. Whenever the spectator says, can I shuffle your cards? Say yes. I mean, unless you're holding an invisible deck or something really, really like that they can't shuffle. But if you're, if you're in like a special stack or order or you have like a duplicate card on top, whatever, yeah, let them shuffle it. 100% let them shuffle it, go into something else. He's gonna remember that part and everybody else will more than anything else. He'll be like, I shuffle the cards. So change up the trick, do something else, all right? Now for this card force, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna write the word asshole on the card. Okay, mind you, it doesn't have to be asshole. It could just be jerk or it could be a message. You could actually write something like, hey man, can you let everyone else just enjoy the magic, please? Thanks for understanding, you know? And leave that on a card, put that in your pocket, in your breast pocket when you're out performing, and when you get somebody like this, just ring it into the deck, put it on top, boom, classic force. And when he reads this, you know, there's so many little things you can do here. So for instance, before I start the trick, I say, you know, every card uh, represents, represents people. So the card that you choose actually represents you. For instance, myself, if I were to choose a card, it might be something like the King of Hearts, right? Because I'm so, so damn charming. Uh, if you were to choose a, a card, it might be uh, the Ace of Spades because reasons. You see where I'm going with this, right? And so you you force the asshole card on this guy and you say, okay, can you please show uh, everybody what, what card that you got? And then he <laughs> he shows everybody and says, asshole. Everybody laughs because they know that this guy's been a nuisance the entire time. He wouldn't shut up. They get the vibe that he's like not on your side. And now everybody's laughing at him. He's either laughing at himself, which is probably the case, or he's like, I'm out of here. Good riddance. So that's tip number one. Personally, one of my favorites, go ahead and try it. Get creative with it. You can literally write anything you want. If you want to deal with hecklers, forcing the card, mm, probably the best way to do it. Number two. Now, this is something I actually use all the time. So if you're not in a position where you can write something down on a card or you're just kind of caught off guard, you're not prepared, this is a great way to really get a heckler and put them back down in their place. Sit down, heckler. Take some notes. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is a double lift, all right? You And you say to the, before you start, you say, listen, okay, I see, and throw him a compliment, I see that you've been very observant and you've caught me on a, you know, on like two or three tricks, which is, you know, you might make a good magician yourself. Um, but this one, I really don't think you're gonna catch, okay? I really don't think you're gonna catch. I want you to look very closely. And if you see even the slightest thing, if you see like a little discrepancy or anything fishy at all, I want you to stop me, all right? I want you to stop me and say, stop, Right there, you did something. And I will stop and I will, I will, because I'm so confident that you're not gonna get this trick. So at this point he's like, oh cool, this is a game now. This is really what he wanted. He wanted this to be a puzzle that he could figure out anyways. He's not in it for like the emotional ties or the storyline. He's in it to figure out how the fuck he did the trick. So let's give him an opportunity to actually do that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do a double turnover, boom, and you show him the card. Now this has to be a very clean double turnover. This has to be the cleanest you've done all night, okay? You show him this card, you say, okay, now watch the card carefully as I put it into the center of the deck. Now you turn that card back over. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the sloppiest second deal you've ever done. You're literally gonna push off the top card out of the way 
grab the second card. Now this has to be blatantly obvious and you kind of do this in an action of, okay, I'm gonna grab the top card and as you say that, you grab the second one and you put it in the middle. Now as soon as you put it in the middle, if he's if he's the, the slightest bit attentive, he's gonna be like, whoa, you didn't take the top one, you took the second one. At that point, I mean, this is like the greatest thing ever because all you have to do now is turn your hand over and show him, oh no, I didn't, it's in the center. Can we continue? Can we go on? Are you done now? Are we good? At that point, he's like, slow clapping. You got me. You got me. Everybody else is like, ah, shut up, Greg. You need to shut up. Getting Greg. That was tip number two. Tip number three, the hand to face gag. And this is actually pretty funny. This can be done if you're on stage or if you're at a parlor or if you're in close up and you have somebody who just won't shut up. And normally when this person doesn't shut up, the whole crowd, everybody around you feels that. They're like, oh, just fucking Greg, just let him do the trick. Greg's like acting out. He's like, blah, 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 whatever hecklers do. And you say, oh, can I try something with you, Greg? Can I try something? Perfect. Could you hold your hand out like this flat? Perfect. Gesture them to hold their hand out flat. And you say, could you uh, lift it up here to the side of your, just like that, yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, go like this, yeah. And then push your face forward into your hand. Just like that, perfect. Now stay there, don't move. Moving on, let's go into the next trick. And so this is just a really funny way of making fun of this guy in front of everybody. Now again, type of magic that I perform allows me to make fun of some people in a humorous way. And mostly the people involved, like they usually have a sense of humor. They will be like, okay, you got me. All right, funny guy, I'll shut up, I get it. So the point isn't to really demean him and to like mess him up mentally and emotionally. The point is to just make him realize how much of an asshole he is, how much of an asshole he's being in front of all of, all of his friends when they're just trying to enjoy some magic. So that's tip number three, uh, hand to mouth. I thought that was pretty funny. So the next one is a classic in magic. This is like the classic bar bet trick that you're going to perform. Very, very simple. All you have to do is force a card or peek a card. I suggest forcing a card, just much easier. Uh, once the card is forced, you leave it back in the deck and you ask them to shuffle up the deck. Now they're gonna shuffle up the whole deck. At this point, they're, they're like, whoa, okay, hold on. I got to choose a card and shuffle the deck. That's incredible. And you say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bet with you that I can find your card. And at this point, they're like, yeah, there's, there's no way you're gonna find my card. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start dealing face up all of the cards, okay? You're gonna see their card eventually go by. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, their selection is there. You know what? Keep dealing cards face up as if you missed it, as if you messed up this trick. And then you say to them, you know what? I bet you the next card that I turn over is gonna be your card, all right? In fact, if this is it, if the next card I turn over is your card, you need to like walk away or just shut the fuck up. No, but seriously, the next card that I flip over, if that's your card, would that be impressive? Would you, Greg, be impressed? And Greg's like, oh, yeah, it would be. <laughs> Cause it's not a card you just already is it perfect. And so you gesture flipping the next card, but what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna go through the pile of face up cards find Greg's card and flip it face down. Now, technically you flipped over their card. Done, Greg, you're out, peace. Get the hell out of here. Woo! That was number four, tip number five. Tip number five is actually a really good tip. This is a great way to make them look like they're crazy. It also makes them look like they're purposely trying to sabotage your magic in front of everybody, which is phenomenal because at this point, everybody's gonna get that, dude, you're just literally being rude to the magician for no reason. You're doing it on purpose. The magician is just trying to do his job and you're doing it on purpose. To get them feeling like that, this is what you do. They choose a card, whatever it is, okay? You hold it up to them and you say, remember this card. As I bring it back down, I'm gonna top change. Boom. All right, and this has to be very seamless. Remember this card, the two, the whatever, right? Boom, as I come over here, I'm gonna top change and I'm gonna show the card to the other people. Can you guys remember to make sure he's not lying? Can you keep him honest, please? Thank you. Put that back in the deck. All right, now at this point, you're gonna read his mind and you're gonna reveal the card that you show to the rest of the audience. And you're gonna say, you're thinking of the two of clubs, aren't you? And he's gonna go, uh, no, it was the four of hearts. Are you, really? It wasn't the two of clubs? Was, was it the two of clubs? Everybody's gonna be like, yeah, it was the two of clubs, Greg. What the hell's wrong with you? He showed me the four hearts. And I'm like, come on guys. Can we just like get along? Can we just, can you stop trying to sabotage my magic, please? That is a really good way as well. So those are five really strong tips. You guys better appreciate this because that's gold. This is heckler magic heaven right now. Use those five tips very wisely because they can be absolutely powerful and help you out, but they can also destroy you. And what I mean by that is, if you're dealing with people in a certain way, use your own personal judgment. 
All right, I have, through performance and through my character, I've developed a way to do this and get away with it and usually get the heckler on my side. There are other people that I've seen, this, go, this went horribly wrong and they just make themselves look like an asshole in front of everybody. And that's not what you want as a performing magician. You wanna be on everybody's side, you wanna be empathetic, you wanna be uh, humble and as respectful as possible when doing this. Sometimes to get out of line, this is how you deal with it, but use your own personal judgment. If you feel that at any point this isn't gonna work or something else, you know, sometimes just chalking it up to a loss, and sometimes just saying, you know what, you win good one. You know, everybody laugh at me. It's fine. It goes without saying. You should be able to laugh at yourself before all. So if someone says something clever about you, if you don't have a response, sometimes the best response is laughing as well and just like admitting, yep, this is a funny guy. You're funny. You done now? Can we do magic? <laughs> There's no easy way about it. There's no simple tricks. These hacks, these sort of tricks should be able to help you sometimes, um, but do perform them with caution, as I mentioned. Another, another just slight tip. Hecklers are created. They're not just, well, Sometimes they're just, you know, assholes, but sometimes they're created because of the magic we perform. If we perform it as a puzzle, nothing up my sleeves, this, 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 bam, look at that. If that's presented in a way that has no context, no story, no justification, no anything, then it's gonna be a puzzle. It's kind of like just a puzzle to them. They're like, well, how did he do that? Well, I think he did it like this. Did you do it like this? And, bam, bam. and often we mistake those people for hecklers or for like the you know, disruptful audience member, but that's not the case. They're just actual human beings trying to figure something out that you presented to them. Concentrate on your performance, concentrate, make sure that what you're performing doesn't come off as a puzzle. Cause it, if it does, then it's their right to try and solve it. Dropping knowledge on y'all today, like bam. All right guys, I think that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of like, I like this video. I like these kinds of videos because this is my element. This is where I really thrive in performances. And uh, I would love to get on, I would love to get like a live performance of me dealing with hecklers uh, for you guys to see because it's not what you think. It's not like, oh, I'm destroying this guy and they all like boo him. They're like, boo, get the fuck out of here, drag, you suck. No, usually that guy ends up being my friend at the end of this whole thing. And he's usually also genuinely interested in magic. He'll be the one to come out to me afterwards and be like, hey man, sorry I was a dick. Your magic is really cool. I've always wanted to learn magic, etc." So a lot of times those people are just, and sometimes it's because you're performing at like a function or, or like a private party with all this staff. The people already feel comfortably entitled that are there. They're like, well, this is my crew. This is my company. You know, they're like, ho, ho, ho. they're in charge. So using your confidence and the way that you perform, you need to turn that back around on them and show them that, look, I'm here to entertain you, to have fun with you. I'm not here to steal your job or your girl. I might steal your girl though, after you see these tricks. All right, so that's it. Enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching once again. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already for more of these tips, for more of these performance things. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this and which trick that you would actually go out and use out of these five. Share this video with your friends or don't or do it. Do it. And we'll see you next time on the next video, guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for all the love in the last video, by the way. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Ah.